Hey guys, it's Fit and 50, and today I want to show you two exercises that can help you develop the strength you need to do some cool static holds. Uh, and when you're doing bodyweight training, it's nice to have some goals like this. So the holds that these exercises work you toward, the first exercise works you toward being able to do a frog stand or a tuck planche. And of course, once you master those two moves, you can start working toward being able to do a full planche, which is a pretty cool strength move to be able to do. The second exercise I'm going to show you helps you work toward a front lever and it does it in a way that your uh, pull-up bar in your closet door just can't do. So here I'm going to show you first off what a frog stand looks like just in case you haven't seen one before. So that's a frog stand and it's one of the first moves that you do when you're working on doing a plant, getting your uh, body used to being in that position, particularly that forward lean of your arms, uh, getting used to developing that uh, lever. So now I'm going to show you a tuck planche. So that's a tuck planche. And one of the advantages of doing these with the lever bar is the factor that you have a greater range of motion. Now you can develop both a frog stand and a tuck planche from the floor. But you gotta remember the floor is basically like the very top of the lever bar. So you have a limited range of motion. And that range of motion above the top part of the lever bar is the hardest part of the move. So when you're trying to build up strength to be able to do these exercises, it is nice to be able to have lever bars so that your feet can actually uh, be below and you get a greater range of motion. Let me show you that because I'm not explaining it quite the way I'd like to explain it. So your knees and the bottom half of your body are down below the lever bar. So you can build strength with this part of the movement as you lift yourself up there. Whereas this half of the movement is substantially harder. So it allows you to build that strength with that lower range of motion. Now the next thing you can do to help build strength and get yourself used to being in that hold is by adding a bit of a swing. So you swing so you can allow your body to swing up into that position, then hold for a second, let your body drop down, and then swing forward and then back, and then hold again for a second. I'll show you what I mean. So swing forward and then hold. <clears throat> that was a little wild and crazy, but that's the idea. Now we're gonna move on to the uh, next exercise, which will help us develop the front lever. I'm gonna get into the exercise, kind of drop down into my personal best version of a front lever right now, and then we will break it down. Breathe! So that's one that you can't really do. Your pull-up bar that fits in your doorway, in your bathroom, or in your bedroom closet, wherever you put it. You can't really do that one because you just can't get your feet up high enough. But you can really see how that works great because it adjusts your lever a bit, puts a little bit more weight on the front half of your body when your feet are up to make it a bit easier. Take some of the uh, weight off of your legs. Uh, so it's a little easier to hold and you can kind of just drop yourself down into the position that you have the uh, strength to hold and practice there until you get strong enough to go with a straight level. Uh, also, you can uh, just do it as negatives, pull yourself up, lower yourself down until you fully burn out those muscles. Of course, make sure you take the time for rest and recovery afterwards. And if you don't quite have the strength to do it that way with your legs out straight right away, you can do it with like a tuck lever where you have your knees pulled in. Maybe I'll show you that. Also, uh, you saw at the end there when I was laying in my lever, I was pulling one leg back 
that also makes it a little bit easier to do and you could drop yourself down with one knee bent. So those are two exercises I'd like to add to my favorite Liebert exercises as you really work toward to some great strength holds that you can do with body weight exercise and it's always fun to find new ways to challenge yourself as you're working toward improving your fitness. So this is Fit and 50, sign out, keep working out, keep having fun. Like the video if you enjoyed the exercises, give them a try because they're definitely worth doing and we will talk to you in that next video.